Yes, it's good that the long-term goals could add up to just above two degrees. That's still not enough. We have to get to the 1.5 degrees and, and not go above that. Or if we do go above, come down, capture enough carbon to come down. And, you know, that's not negotiable in my view because lives and countries depend on it. Small island states depend on it. But why is it so difficult? Mm -hmm. um, I think because we don't prioritize enough. As I said, um, the real priority now of developed countries is coming out of COVID and them getting the vaccine. But every country has to have equitable access to the vaccines. And the elders are very much part of the COVAC um, movement for that. But, uh, you know, quite honestly, 100 billion a year is not a huge amount of money. And the whole idea is that it is to, um, you know, to open up trillions in private sector for um, projects and for a transfer of technology and investment in green development in developing countries. And, you know, uh, we, we are seeing progress and we are seeing, you know, um, work in the private sector. We're seeing, you know, the task force on climate um, disclosure. Um, that's voluntary at the moment, but that, those measures, those goals, those targets rather, should be uh, now mandatory. And we should be moving to measurable implementation because that's what it's going to take to implement that graph you showed us.